In this tutorial, we'll look at how you can get this live console in Visual Studio Code with a particular extension called Quoka.js. All right, so the extension is called Quoka.js. So you can write Quoka.js. And actually, if you just write Quoka, you're gonna get a different one at the top. You actually need this one with the verified by Wallaby.js. It has millions of downloads. Let's actually install this. Now I've already installed it before, so it's very quick for me. So now it's installed, but it doesn't work out of the box, right? So if you just try you know, console logging right now, you won't see anything yet. So you do need to sort of initialize it so you can run a command. You can open up the command pa palette or you can use control shift P. And here you can write Quoka and you see the available commands. So here um, it could be a different order for you because I've already installed it before. But here I wanna start it on the current file. Now maybe you wanna create a new JavaScript file or a new TypeScript file, right? But I already have created a JavaScript file and I wanna use it in this file. So I can click on start on current file and you'll see some output here. I don't really want to see that. And they also uh, give you this new icon here. So here, let's try it out. We can say console log and we can say one, right? One plus five, it's already showing, right? Let's try to concatenate a string, right? It's all, it's all working. Now the cool thing is it's pretty sophisticated. So even with a for loop, for example, right? let's say, you know, as long as I is less than three, I plus plus, and here we're going to log i, right? So you're going to get uh, 0, 1, 2, right? So you, it's pretty sophisticated. Now, some other benefits are the following. So what you can do is, you know, in your code, you may have like if, if house, right? Maybe some variable, or you think it's a variable, but it does not exist. So they will actually give you that error as you type, right? So it's actually, it makes you more productive, right? So this house variable does not exist, right? As soon as I create one, it exists, right? So now the error is gone. If you don't have it, it will show you the error immediately. Now also, if you have some kind of object, uh, maybe you're getting an object for from an external library or whatever, or framework, or maybe you have your own object, let's say, um, uh, let's see, user, right? Um, name, Tim, age 45 maybe some kind of uh, function, right? I'm just gonna create a function here. Maybe it does something like console log 99, right? So some object, maybe you created it yourself or maybe you are using it from somewhere else. So then if you try to use that, if you type user, it will actually show you what's in the object, right? It shows you the name, age, and then the function is some, they don't actually show you the, the, the statements in the body, but they show you it's a Lambda function, right? So it's an arrow function, right? So it's really important that you have mastered modern JavaScript. I have a course on JavaScript. It will take it to the professional level, modern JavaScript. It's, it's all included here with arrow functions. It's all in there. So if you want to take it to that professional level, definitely check it out. The link is in the description. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.